So after a bunch of troubleshooting, I've finally done the testing and why don't we just jump into the results. So first we're comparing the speed of the SAS 3 running at six gigabits per second versus 12 gigabits per second. And we've shaved off seven seconds. Yay! <sighs> so how does it look overall? The new result pushed us closer to the NVMe and farther away from the SAS 2. It's pretty much in the middle now. And with the RAM disk, we've basically shaved off one second. So basically the difference between the best and the worst here is four seconds per plot. And if you see my previous videos, these results really won't be too much of a surprise to you. So why am I so happy about the results being pretty much the same? Well, it's because I can finally stop comparing apples to apples and instead I can compare apples to oranges and bananas and banana splits for that matter. So what does that mean? Well, that means different OSs, different file systems, also different builds. So what's my final verdict for these tests? I believe that we should stop looking at plots per day because people who are doing this are not in it for just one day. We should start looking at plots per month, maybe even a year. How long are these drives gonna last? The SAS2 SSDs are capable of handling 45,000 plots if you have eight of them, and that's without a RAM disk. With a RAM disk, you're looking at four times that amount. So how long does it take for you to hit the 45,000? And what about the SAS3 drives? And what about the NVMe? How long does it take to hit the TBW? It's pretty much the same speed as the other ones, but a quarter of a month and that's it. Now, are there times when an NVMe would be the best choice? Sure, ease of use. You just pop it in and it works. Especially if you're not planning on doing thousands and thousands of plots. But if you are, I think you should seriously consider either the SAS 3 or the SAS 2 SSDs. The SAS 2s are slightly better, not because they're faster, because they are not, but because they are almost as fast as the SAS 3s, which are almost as fast as the NVMe's, but they're half the cost of the SAS 3s, which are cheaper than the NVMe's. And also they last just as long as the SAS 3s essentially. Now, one interesting thing about this chart is that when it comes to T1 storage, we can see that the hard drives are almost as good as the rest of them. And when I say the rest of them, I mean the rest of them are really all bunched up so tight that you really can't tell them apart. That means that for T1 storage, you don't need the absolutely best stuff out there. If you're running this on an older server, the hard drives may actually be a really good choice for you if you can't find the SAS2 SSDs for cheap. But wait, Giannis, what happened to the 11 watts? Well, thing is, I actually tested it and uh, with the RAM disk, it's, it's pretty much the same. It's like uh, half a second faster or a second faster than the uh, regular 12 gigabits per second. In my opinion, I've come as far as I can with this setup because it's no longer about how good the drives can get. It's more like, how well can they communicate with the actual computer? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope that you're really excited about what is to come. Until next time, bye.